Okay, could you please introduce yourself? Okay, sir. Good morning, sir. First of all, thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is Venkat Ramsh. I am from Raya Talusti. I have completed my bachelor degree, basic computer science. From Southern University in 2023, in the percentage of 75 percentages. My skills are DevOps and AWS. I'm, my strengths are I'm a self motivated person and good communication skills. Sound work. Okay. Uh, how much do you rate in the scale of 1 to 5 cloud part? AWS cloud part? Uh, sir. 3, sir. Out of 3? 3. Out of 5. Uh, what other services you are comfortable in? S3, VPC, mm-hmm. um, auto scaling. Okay. I am. Yeah. What is uh, versioning in S3? Versioning is to track the data, old and new data. Then when coming to the, what is static web hosting? Static web hosting is a HTML code when deploy to the server. Deploy to the? Server. Server. Okay. Next, what is the difference between EBS and EFS? EBS can attach one instance and EFS can attach multiple instances. Yes, EBS okay. is to attach and detach. Mm-hmm. EFS is mounted to multiple instances. Uh, what are the components? To create AC2 instance, what are the components? Component, right? components right. Related okay. instance? Console AWS account, launch instance. What are the parameters we need? I mean, like, like what are what are the required things do we need to create AC2 instance? Steps, huh? Yeah, steps. What we uh, what are the necessary things? The MM is called to create the AC2 instance. Launch instance, give the name, okay. image, okay, instance type, okay, and keep it. Keep it. Launch instance. And then uh, default uh, VPC, uh, right? VPC so default. if you have oh, your own VPC, yes. so if you have your own VPC, how do you create the instance? So oh, okay. you once you create a VPC, what you what are the required things? So uh, I want a EC2 instance on your um, created VPCs. So what? Oh, how do you follow the uh, steps? Okay. How do you create your VPC? And then uh, how do, what are the things required things attached to the VPC, okay. uh, what is the public uh, subnet and private subnet? So, these things, could you please explain that? Explain. VPC is a virtual private network. Okay. It is an isolated section. Mm-hmm. We can launch AWS We can launch AWS resources. Okay. Uh, it allows to um, public sub- subnets as public subnets and route tables and internet gateway. Only public subnets? Private subnets. Okay. My question is very good. It, until here, it's correct. How to create a public subnet? How to make it a public subnet? Oh, okay. How to make it a private subnet? To detach the internet gateway, attach, attach the subnet. Attach the subnet to? My question is, how we can say that this is public subnet? How we can say that this is private subnet? When you attach the internet gateway, is public subnet. Not attach the internet gateway, private subnet. Uh, attach the internet gateway to uh, which uh, subnet or route table? It's route table. Route table. Uh, okay, fine. Okay, then next. So, uh, subnets we associate with router, router plus it with subnets. Okay, associated with mm-hmm. subnets, yes. And the question is, I want to launch a one a EC2 instance in a public subnet, one EC2 instance in private subnet. Okay. Can I connect to private subnet directly to the internet? From um, uh, git bash or putty or no? Yes. Private subnet. Can I connect? Uh, I can. You can. Not enough. Manam, private subnet to know on EC2 instance ki directly ga, internet to ah, so what we need to do if I want to connect to the private subnet use NAT gateway use? use NAT gateway we need to use NAT gateway yes so my question is I understand I understand that. NAT gateway is one way traffic or two way traffic one way traffic then how can I connect it can connect to other resource but I cannot connect to the uh, instance which is in private subnet right yeah. in order to connect a, a Instance which is in private subnet, what you supposed to do? What we supposed to do? Could you please explain it? Private subnet can't be a web server. It's any type of server. It is Tomcat or Linux, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. My question is, I want to connect a server which is in private subnet. Private subnet. Private subnet have internet connectivity? Public subnet have internet connectivity? Yes. I want to connect the, the EC2 instance which is in private subnet. In order to achieve this, what are the process I need to follow? If I am private subnet, must have public subnet, then use private subnet key pair to log in private subnet. To where? Key pair. Key pair, okay. Then page SSH. Instead of is a. Where, where I to copy the uh, uh, instance key pair? Public subnet. In server. A public subnet? Is it server. instance? Okay, fine. Yes. Server. Then, then we paste the private key pair and we give them. So SSH and then hyphen okay. I and then uh, the uh, public IP or private IP? Private IP. Private IP. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes, yeah. fine. So what is about peering? Could you please explain about the peering concept? 
why we required pairing, what is pairing, uh, what what with the help of pairing, what we can achieve. Pairing is nothing but connection between two VPCs. Okay. Uh, connection between two, two VPCs. VPCs, okay. Application user with the communication with the um, data okay. and servers, hitting the servers okay. and ping the servers using Okay, it. fine. Uh, are you comfortable with IAM? In IAM, could you please explain me about regions? Sorry, uh, um, uh, the could you please explain me about the uh, roles and policies? Okay. To whom you can attach roles? To whom you can attach policies? Policies attached to the users. Okay. Roles are attached to the servers, EC2 servers. Like. EC2 servers or AWS services? Yeah, AWS services. Sir. Okay. Explain me about the user group roles and policies briefly. Group is nothing but gives many users in one time. You can add users into group. And then give the function to group. Group. Okay. Now roles and policies. How do you exactly what do you mean by role and what do you mean what do you mean by role policy? Policies nothing but give permission to use a specific permissions. So we use a particular permissions and particular budget we also give. Roles and give the permission between only H2 servers and AWS services. Services. Mm. Okay. Have you tried what what type of uh, role you have tried uh, in day-to-day uh, uh, -day activities? I tried. Uh, S3 bucket. S3 bucket you created that for, uh, role to and I uh, have attached to whom? EC2 e instance. Mm -hmm. So what happened when you did this? We can only access the only server to command, uh, command to S3. So you don't need to have a uh, user don't need to have a permission, right? Yes, sir. Only EC2 will have, uh, have the permission is going to sufficient. Um, what do you meant by route 53? What is DNS actually? And what route? route 53? Route is user to uh, give the domain to uh, IP address, mm -hmm. the .com, .in. Subdomain means give our own domain. Domain. So no, no. Domain. Subdomain means the one. Giving our own. Our created domain. Domain and... and uh, mm -hmm. We give .com and .devops .com. We give .com and .devops.com. We give .com and So, my question, please listen carefully. I have two instances. Instance. instance 1, instance 2. Okay. This is having 8 GB, 10, 12 GB volume. 12 GB volume. volume. This is also having 12 GB volume. I forgot the key pair of this instance. I forgot the username and password of this instance. How can you retrieve the data without creating IAM, without creating snapshot? I don't want, I want to recover the data which you have in this 12 GB. And I don't want to create an IAM, I don't want to create an EC2 uh, snapshot. How can we recover? We can attach EPS to which one? EC2. Which EC2? EC1. Uh, EC1. EC1, I lost that. Lost. I lost this key pair, I lost the username and password of the EC1. Yeah. I want to see the data what I have in 12GB. I don't want to create IAM, mm -hmm. I don't want to create the snapshot. How can I achieve this? Default volume is there. Yes. The, it's 12 GB here. 12 GB. I want to retrieve this data. I don't want to lose this data. I want to connect to the ABS. Can we, I mean, uh, okay, what is, me? Okay, uh, volume can be detached or not? Default. Volume detached or not? This volume can be detached or not? Uh, if I attach to this? Yes, or not Default volume not detached. Yes. But this is not default volume. This is extra volume. Extra volume. Yes. ABS or ABS. Extra volume. So now what is the pro process you need to follow to recover this data? Launch instance in the edit networks. In the last we add the net, uh, security files in the show in the I have a created EBS volume. Fine. This is the EBS volume which is 12 GB. Yeah. In this 12 GB, I lost the key pair, I lost the username and password of this EC2 instance. I want to see the data in this instance in order to do this what your way of approach attach the ABS volume CBS exactly so once you attach that's it you need to create what you need to create one you need to create a file system why it's already there in file system okay we need to mount it yes then you're able to see so what is different between snapshot and name snapshot is user for back up the ABS volume so you can schedule this basically schedule. okay MA means pre configured pre configured uh, system pre configured we can launch uh, HTTP extension server pre configured already application servers what is load balancer 
ये सर्वर इज ए पॉपुलर सर्वर सो मेनी मेंबर्स यहां से दे सर्वर टू सेंड अ रिक्वेस्ट हम्म ये सर्वर इज लोड और देने टू हेवी ट्रैफिक सेंड ऑल आर सेंडिंग रिक्वेस्टेड लोड बैंक क्रिएट लोड बैंक्स सेंडिंग द रिक्वेस्ट टू वन सर्वर अनदर सर्वर सो शेयरिंग द रिक्वेस्ट इन बोथ सो वी यूज लोड बैंक्स ओके